Hi friends, today we are going to look at three tips to effectively use MetaMask. So the first thing which I want you to learn about MetaMask is the concept of seeds and accounts. Now when setting up MetaMask, you have your 12 word seed phrases which you have kept safely and whenever you want to log into MetaMask, you, you use that. Pretty simple. Now there is a concept of accounts within MetaMask where you can see account 1 over here is logged in. I can go and just click create account and say account 2 or I can say hot account and create an account over here. So if I need to receive funds from someone and I do not want to share my main wallet address with them, I can simply create a new account and share this address with them by clicking here copy to clipboard or I can organize my funds in different accounts within the same MetaMask protected by the same seed phrases to organize them better. So my account one could be my primary wallet, hot account could be to share with strangers, I could create another one to connect with an exchange and these could be separate accounts which I use for different purposes. Now remember in terms of security, when you are connecting your MetaMask installation to any online app and you use Connect Wallet or you give permissions, this account differentiation may not always protect you. And what you want to do is have different MetaMasks, have something called cold storages, which we'll talk about later to protect your funds. But from a privacy angle, having different accounts from a convenience or accounting angle or bookkeeping angle accounts having multiple accounts is useful when you are using multiple accounts remember one more thing that your accounts each account is a wallet in themselves so if i want to transact across or transact from any account i need to have gas fees ethereum for gas fees in that account so in each account, I'll have to keep some Ethereum balance separately for gas paying gas fees for various transactions I do. So that is one downside. If you're playing with small amount of funds, very small amount of funds, this may not work for you on the Ethereum mainnet, but this concept can very well work for you on the Polygon mainnet because the gas fees are incredibly low and uh, in which case you can really have gas fees across all your accounts easily. Now that said, but once you have your accounts in place, the second thing I want you to do is realize that whenever you do a swap, say I want to swap 10,000 Matic for USDT. And if I review this swap over here, remember that for this transaction, you are paying 0.875% fee to MetaMask, which I think is a lot paying close to 1% in fees for a simple swap on a decentralized system is too much so i often use obvious wallet for my swapping and bridging a lot of complex transactions which metamask cannot do i can do using obvious and the best part is obvious connects to my metamask and does the transaction within my own metamask installation obvious is also coming out with a card which helps me uh, spend crypto in real world so i'm on the wait list to get this card as well if you want this card again i'll give you a link in description that could again be a pretty cool thing to have to have my funds in my own wallet but spend them using a card in real world so in real time they will debit my wallet and let me spend money how cool is that so uh, for complex transactions use something like obvious and save fees and also do transactions which metamask cannot do the Third thing to remember is that browser extensions can be slightly or a bit insecure when using and I prefer having a mobile app especially on an iPhone to do my crypto transaction so I generally do not keep a lot of funds in my mobile browser wallet. So that's another thing if you are using MetaMask, MetaMask is available on mobile use the mobile app more instead of uh, using your uh, desktop and uh, very simply if you want to connect with any app say Aave or uniswap within your browser whenever you do connect there is something called wallet connect where you can just scan this qr code using your metamask wallet on mobile and you can easily connect so that can easily be done so that is not a downside either now a lot of you may be wondering 
how to log out of metamask remember you can never log out of metamask or can you delete this accounts this is a completely decentralized system all of your accounts are created using your own seed phrases so if you want to completely remove metamask and log out you should simply right click on this extension and remove this extension from chrome that will wipe it off there is no log out as such before we go do look at sipto as well for algo trading and making returns on your crypto i'll give you a link again in description their algos seem to be performing well and they trade using their algorithms proprietary algorithms on your own trading account exchange or decentralized so you do not have to lose custody of your funds they will trade and make returns on your behalf so try sipto out i'll give you a link in description do remember trading can be extremely risky and in general i do not want to entice you to trade or gamble if you understand what you are doing you know what sipto is doing over here give them a try see you next time